Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna Rach and this is the PR. Um, I just want to say thank you and welcome to all of you guys who have subscribed to me in the last couple of days. Um, I'm so glad to have you join me at this time because I was planning to come back today anyway. It's just actually mad that you guys have found my channel now at this point. But um, uh, I guess I just wanted to have like a quick kind of chit chat, sit down with you guys, tell you a bit more, uh, tell you a bit more about myself and um, kind of what's been happening. Because if you notice, I haven't actually uploaded a video for like five months. And kind of just let you know where the channel's basically going. So, yeah, as I said, my name is Joanna Rose Hazel. And when I started my YouTube channel, uh, it was about two years ago. And my plan was to kind of like do a YouTube channel and just base it around the things that I loved the most, which was like um, fashion, um, food, family, lifestyle, kind of that thing. And as I started my channel, I'll link it below or above the screen, um, the link to my old channel. So you can see all my old videos, quite a few on there. Um, it, it was kind of like, that was my direction, that was where I was going. And then over time, all of these mad things just started happening to me. Like, um, well, the first thing isn't that mad, it was actually good. <laughs> but basically, when I started my channel, I was actually pregnant and I didn't know I was pregnant at the time. So that kind of just knocked me for six because that's not really what I was expecting. I didn't plan to have another baby so close to my last which was about six months when I started my channel so that was the first thing and then over her pregnancy and my pregnancy with her and after my skin just went crazy and just flared up like again you guys probably would have seen my eczema video by now as well and it just it it just really took a lot out of me like I've never ever suffered with eczema on that level I didn't even know you could suffer with eczema on that level it literally took over my whole entire body my whole body was kind of like black and flaky and weeping and it was just such a horrible experience um, to the point where like there was so many times where like I contemplated suicide um, my hair had grown out from the first big chop that I did and it was long and beautiful and thick and I was losing my hair at like an epic rate and again like that really really affected me because clearly like I couldn't manage it so I cut it down as in like cut it short to for me to manage it. I did like a short back and sides down and I was like, I'm just gonna grow it out from there and just give my um my hair like a chance to just I don't know breathe and it just didn't get any better. If if anything it got worse, my whole scalp was covered in like these mad scales and it was even like all the way down my forehead and I just couldn't manage it anymore and even though like I changed my diet and I was eating really healthy and it did help don't get me wrong it just it wasn't really pushing past the point and um, it's like the skin was better but it was still really flaky and my scalp just wasn't just wasn't healing so I just made the decision to just take it off because I couldn't get to my scalp my hair is so thick so yeah all of that was going on and um, like I said, I ended up cutting my hair off completely. You saw me shave it. And this is basically where it's at now. Um, but yeah, all of that stuff was happening. I feel like when it comes to YouTube, like people kind of portray this perfect, happy-go-lucky lifestyle. And for me, it was just like, that was not the life I was living at all. I didn't want to kind of come on my channel and be kind of like portraying something that really wasn't happening like there were so many things that were happening at the time outside of my health as well like um, we had issues with our housing and we had to we had to leave our house and go into temporary accommodation the bed and breakfast it was all just crazy so anyway um, I said all that to say that I actually did vlog like a whole chunk of all that stuff that was going on and I wanted to kind of put it up here so you guys could see um, like things that people go through on a day to day on a day to day I guess um, the struggles living in London um, just the expense of it all it's just it's all crazy but I didn't want to do it I didn't want to edit it because it will take hours for me to edit that vlog because it's so long well I could break it up but it's just so much footage I took um, but if you guys want to see it let me know in the comments below and I will upload it and you guys will be able to see me like kind of like in my rawest form um, just me kind of interacting with my family it's, it's really up to you I really don't mind I can either hold back or um, I can put it up it's up to you but yeah so basically um, after all of that happened it was kind of like what do I do now like do I carry on do I stop or whatever and I prayed about it for a really long time and I thought do you know what this is actually what I'm so passionate about like I really love my YouTube channel like so I'm not gonna get emotional but some of you guys have been amazing like the support system that I've built through my channel has been so amazing Like there's a there's a few of you 
um, watching this or that will watch this I've actually made genuine friends with like we've exchanged numbers and we talk all the time and we encourage each other through what we're going through and I just find it so amazing like I just thought to myself I can't just stop doing YouTube because of what happened to me I have to keep going and not only that but I want to be able to encourage other women as well like one thing that I've learned from my whole experience is that health is so so important you guys have heard me say it so many times but I'm not gonna stop and for me going forward in my channel I'm still gonna do fashion I'm still gonna do beauty and lifestyle stuff but I really want to push um, more like health and well-being videos so people can like really get to look after their bodies like I feel like one of the things that stuck out to me and one lesson that I learned in this whole experience is that as women we spend so much time and money <laughs> on the external we spend so much time like fixing up ourselves making ourselves look good but we neglect the inside of our bodies and it doesn't matter what you put on your skin it doesn't matter what makeup you're using it doesn't matter what brand it is how expensive it is or whatever else you can doll up yourself on the outside as much as you want you can buy the most expensive weave but if you're eating trash food and you're eating um processed food and foods that don't nourish your body you're it's, it's kind of counterproductive. Your skin is never going to flourish to its full potential if you're feeding your body junk. Do you get what I mean? It's like having a car and you're painting it, you're getting like matte black paint and spinning rims and... Okay, maybe not spinning rims because no one does it anymore, but yeah. You know what I mean? You're fixing up your car, you're making your car look on point and it's a petrol car and you're filling it with diesel. Your car's never going to run at its full potential, so... For me, it's just all about just focusing on like just being the healthiest I can possibly be. And to be honest with you, I feel like even doing this, um, changing my diet and living the best way I can in terms of my health, it's given me such a sense of well-being. Like I just feel like a completely different person. It's actually crazy. Um, yesterday, last night or the night before, I was looking at like old videos. I was going through the videos on my old channel and I was watching vlogs that actually never made it to my channel. Vlogs from like BeautyCon. Um, blog on and the Glamour Beauty Festival. I went to a couple of beauty events, not last year, the year before. And I was just like, I did not even recognize this girl. Like, not just because I've changed bodily wise in terms of my hair and my weight and whatever, but just generally, I'm just not the same person. I've learned so much and I feel like I've grown so much. And I just want to give that back to you. So, so my weight. Um, so I think when I started my channel, not say when I started my channel, but before this health stuff started happening to me, I think I was like a healthy size 10 and now I'm size 4 and I find it's at one point I found it so difficult to deal with this because I was like I'm skinny like skinny like I felt like what is going on in my body I just didn't know it was like I, everything was just so out of my control and I felt like I wasn't like a woman not necessarily not a woman anymore but I was just like I lost my curves I lost everything that I felt confident about it was like I just got stripped like literally but um I haven't really put on much weight but it's like my body is almost balanced itself out like I've got my curves back in a weird way I know it sounds crazy but I'm a size four with curves it's mad it's actually mad like things that people go to the um to the doctors for to get them to chop here and chop there and put this here and there so like my body just did it on its own and that's another thing I feel like your body knows what it needs to do if you just give it what it needs it will just do it on its own but yeah um, also my hair as you can see since I shaved my hair it's grown back a little bit and when it grows out a bit more I don't even know what to do with it I'm never gonna lie I'm not really into the whole wee thing I just can't be asked um, I just can't be bothered but it is getting to that awkward stage where it's like it's not it's not as short as it used to be where I could just get up and brush it it's getting to that length where something needs to be done to it and I know it's going to be a long time before it gets to like a manageable length but anyway I'm just so glad that it's grown back um, as you can see there's like a few patches like still at the front that probably need to grow in a bit more but other than that I don't know I'm just glad that it's back and yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put up a few clips of uh, the Glamour Beauty Festival and the other um, vlogs, that, well, the other vlogs that I did, just so you can see them. Um, I'm probably not going to edit them. I don't see any point because it's too long, like literally. But um, just to have a look at basically where I kind of come from in my old journey, and just to kind of um, 
welcome you on this new one going forward again like i said i'm so grateful and so thankful that you guys have subscribed to my channel over the last couple of days and weeks i'm so happy to have you guys here um what you can expect to see from me is like i said fashion beauty lifestyle but more than anything everything that i do is going to be geared towards like your health if i'm doing a makeup video i'm going to be showing you makeup that is um, natural organic and will actually benefit your skin rather than destroy it um, if I'm showing you, I don't know, fashion, it's not going to be like, I'm not going to be doing hauls every week, like, I just don't see the point in that, but I will do, like, certain fashion videos where I'll buy, like, key pieces and teach you guys how to, um, how to put things together and have them last, like, throughout at least a year. I'm not really into the throwaway fashion thing where people are just buying loads of clothes and it's just sitting there. It's not really benefiting anybody, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, I hope over this period of time i can get to know you guys more you can get to know me me a bit more um put in the comments below what you'd like to see from me um and i'll see you guys in my next video which will be a skin smoothie recipe that i feel has really helped me and helped my skin truly like heal if you guys look closely if you look from my previous videos to basically this video now my skin is completely different like the blackness is gone um, my skin is so smooth the only place that i still have eczema right now is a little bit on my hands which is still quite dark and my feet but the rest of my body is like completely and utterly clear and literally i've just done that just by changing my diet so just imagine that i don't know what you guys may be going through it could be a skin issue it could be a health any other health issue but like i said to you before if you eat the right foods and you give your body what it needs it will heal itself it knows what to do i promise you um, yeah, so thank you for clicking onto this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!
on London 2017. Um, if I'm honest with you, when I first got here, I was like, I'm not really feeling it too tough. Like it was kind of basic. But then I feel like the people that we met and the amount of um, the survey I managed to complete basically made up for it. And um, I got to meet some really, really inspiring people, and it was really emotional today. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah. Um, so we're going now, and. I just want to introduce you guys to my new channel because I'm probably going to stop using this one. I'm going to be making a new one. And yeah, I'll explain more in a minute.